So we're at Friday evening. Um, I have no idea how coherent I'm going to be because I am exhausted. So today we drove to Colorado from Utah and then we got here. I got to put on my dobok and kind of just run through some material. We line up and we start our pretest. You never know what's going to happen on a pretest. So they could call out any of your material that you know. And you have to be able to do it. I mean, you don't really know what basics they're gonna do. Sometimes you have to do the basics of like all the other ranks. You just don't, you just don't know. I am usually most nervous about Friday afternoon because you just have no idea what they're gonna ask you to do. I knew, but I also kind of forgot that you have to do your NA or your endurance in front of the testing board now, which I think is a really great thing in concept. Uh, like I really think you should be able to do the endurance portion. So you have to do 60 front leg kicks in 30 seconds. It means you're firing off two front kicks a second. And I was repping about 60 consistently in Dallas. But what I didn't think about is the elevation of Dallas is like 417. But the elevation of, where am I? The elevation of Grand Junction is like 4,700 or something like that. So I start super confidently. I was like, I'll be fine. Um, I'm also the kind of person who's just like power through it. You'll be okay. So I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. Like I'll be tired, but I can just push through. I start going with my, they start with your left leg. And I was like, heavens to Betsy. I cannot breathe. My leg started giving out on me after 10. I couldn't believe it. And so I did push as hard as I could. I do have asthma and most of the time it's, that's not a problem, but today it was because of the extreme elevation change. You know when your the back of your throat gets chafed because of like how fast you're inhaling because you can't breathe? Well, that's happening. You can tell I'm a little bit congested today. I think I've just been fighting off a cold this whole week with how stressed I've been. And I don't know if it was a perfect storm or what, but man, I like had muscle failure when I did my last kick from my left side, my right leg, my supporting leg almost gave out because I always just had muscle failure. I felt so weak. And then we're like, okay, you can breathe for a few seconds. And then we're going to do the right side. Then we did the right side. So I got 49 on my left leg and I got 53 on my right leg. And you're aiming for 50, like I said. And I, it, this is not going to be something that I'll pass or fail, but I was kind of disappointed because I thought I had that in the bag going into the test. I gave everything that I had, truthfully, but that was disheartening. And it took me the rest of the pretest to try to recover from that with, with like how much it hurt my chest and my lungs. And like my heart was pounding so fast, even when I calmed my breath, not in a nervous way. It was weird. I was kind of worried about it. I just felt so weak and fatigued throughout the entire test just an off day um, physically. The other thing is I have narcolepsy and I think just from traveling and being so stressed that I'm getting no sleep and being really busy at work and doing the travel day from Dallas to Houston to fly out to Utah to drive here, I guess it was just too much and I haven't gotten enough sleep. So, I mean, I made a few random mistakes that I expected to make. Just the recall of Korean things, there was a couple I was like, okay, what are you asking me to do? But I felt like I consistently had a good energy and tried to like, I always try to bring up the energy in the room the best I can. Um, I felt okay about my sparring. It wasn't very like give and take like it should be, but I showed like a strong presence, which is the best I could do. And the rest of it, I'm trying to even remember. We didn't do as much in the pretest as we usually do. Then we went to my break, which I came into this test feeling confident about my break. I had broken with it before. I thought it would be okay. We did rebreakable boards, which also isn't very common for the first day, but I did the ones that were equivalent to like a board and a half or something. I didn't, I didn't break. I didn't break both times. You get two tries. I was proud of myself for just being like, it's okay. You're okay. And not over freaking out about it. The reality is that I jumped too forward and also my board holder was really, really tall. And when he set the board, I was like, yeah, that's the height that I usually kick at because it looked proportional to where he was holding it but it was too high and I didn't adjust my boards correctly. And so both times I'm kicking like the bottom of the board because I'm just not getting enough height on the kick. But I did talk to a, like Master Griggs and a couple masters about like Master Griggs specifically took me aside and talked to me at length. And he was like, you have all the mechanics to break. Like 
you should break. You just jump forward. And he talked to me how to set out the boards. It was just, that's a, that's a thing in Subakdo. Like the masters just want you to do good and they're willing to like pull you aside and help you in whatever way. So that was really encouraging. Um, I'll get the opportunity to break tomorrow with real boards, which I actually prefer real boards most people do because real boards have more op- more places in which they'll naturally break just due to the wood grain but rebreakables don't um you have to hit them right on but as of now i want to crawl in a hole and die i'm so tired so i'm gonna go to bed i'll get about probably seven ish hours of sleep and then i'll be done and i will glad to be done i just wish i wish my body I know it's giving me everything it can. So I should just be, I'm just going to be thankful that I'm not sick completely and that my body is giving me, I know I'm giving 110% right now. Um, It's just kind of frustrating going into a test, wishing it were more. I seriously almost passed out today. I, okay guys, (laughs) good night. (laughs) I'm not even getting my microphone because I'm too tired. Uh, this is me after my test. Hi, my everything hurts. Everything hurts. We'll have banquet in about I don't even know, like an hour and some change. I'm probably gonna try to take a nap before then. I'm dressing up as Daniel from Karate Kid. You can't really tell, but I do have the. You know, you you know. <laughs> whacked in the jaw and sparring which it's fine now but it was a little sore but then i punched my partner in three steps sparring punch him right here mm. you're supposed to be aiming for here but i used to aim for here with tung Zudo, and so sometimes i still do that apparently i did that because that's where i hit him <laughs> poor kid um yeah i broke ha <laughs> ha so it's been quite a little bit since my test in fact it's been six months um, I forgot to update you guys and so I figured that I would just make a video and what's great about testing is Because it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing and it's a pretty stressful event. I do remember it in great detail um, So I'm gonna go through each thing on the second day Cause cool is now I already have my certificate And so I get to, I can show you guys that at the end start off the test with combinations since I knew which ones we were doing and the nerves we were, I definitely felt like second day I did much better on the test and overall, because one, I started to feel better, like physically, and then it felt pretty awful the beginning of the day of doing all the seminars. But by like the time we were testing, I was feeling pretty good, a lot better. And at the end of the day, I am a performer, and there is an audience that comes and watches your test. It just kicks me into gear a different way, and so I just get into like performing mindset rather than I'm testing mindset which I think was very helpful for me and it was helpful on my Chodon test also. The con to that is I feel like I did revert to some old technique. Sometimes when I get stressed, I revert back to old training rather than kind of the more nuanced, more technical technique. But at the end of the day, I did it. Kicking combinations went pretty good, except I accidentally, instead of doing a jumping, spinning, inside, outside kick, I did like a, I don't even know what I did. I think I was doing a tornado kick. Um, and my instructor was like, do you realize you're doing that wrong? I said, not until the very last kick. And I heard somebody on the testing panel say like, does she know what she's doing? And I was like, well, oh well, full send. Knife defenses, was awful. The thing is, is, I didn't get to train with anybody or any partners for like pretty much my whole prep. I moved away from my instructor and so then I was actually just training on my own and in the air and then I didn't have the opportunity to work with partners until like a couple months before my test and really we only ran things a few times so knife defenses did not go well and that was kind of a letdown but I did pretend to just like know what I was doing and do my best luckily my partner was very generous with me um, I also had to learn his bomb defenses. So that was a bummer, but I felt like my three-step scoring went really well. That was probably one of my best ones. And I even like my self design came really easily. So I feel like at least with Sam Sushi, it did really well. Sparring was fine. Again, it's crazy now, six months later, how much I've progressed in sparring from when I was at my test. And so I look back on it now and I'm like, ugh. What they're really focused on in your test is are you just owning it? Like, are you bringing the energy? Are you bringing the chi? Are you just coming up and showing out? And I did that. So sparring was fine for where I was at the time. Then I actually broke, which I did say in the previous section. 
I didn't break the first time because I gave you two tries. I only broke with one foot. And then finally on the last try. So Greg Sabanin worked a lot with me um, beforehand. And I actually kind of hurt my toes because I was practicing with him. I was like, okay, I got to just be done. And just, he's like, at the end, just, just full scent. Just like, you, you can break them. You have the technique. Just like throw yourself through the wood. So I get up. I like, he had worked with me a lot on like where to set up my board. So I do that. And then I, you know. And then I key up and I jump and I have my feet perfectly placed. I set them up in a good place, but I only break with the right side. And usually you, I get disheartened when I don't break, but I was like, oh my gosh, I did all the things right. I just didn't kick hard enough. Like now I just got kicked through the boards. So the second time I actually pretty confidently was like, okay. And then I broke, um, which felt so good after. First night and I'm like oh my gosh am I actually gonna get this but um so it felt good to be like no this is something I've worked on a lot um, and then we do Hyung after breaking my Hyung like I felt like I stayed with the group well um I don't think it was my best showing but it definitely wasn't my worst and I remembered everything so, so there's that um, yeah and they really liked my essay and they kind of asked us questions at the end yeah that was pretty much the day and I left feeling settled looking back on it now like I remember leaving the test being like that was the worst test I ever did like but what I knew then and what I've definitely come to terms with now is that I literally gave every single thing I had I gave as much energy as I had I felt awful I had an off weekend and everybody has off days mine just happened to be on my second degree test but because I had prepared enough and because I had worked hard enough even having an off day, I still pass. I think it's been nice for me to just realize that that was an off day and that that's okay because I get really frustrated when that happens sometimes. And I do think I could have been more prepared and I'm already on a great track to be more prepared for my Somdon test, which is in two and a half years. So now I have my certificate, which was given to me in the living room, mess in mess Julian. in Corrales Salvanim's living room Julian. when I was wearing a sweatshirt and a dress. Five, five, five. I will take the photo now because I'm funny. Say. And this is what our certificates look like. So I haven't framed it yet, but this is the Grandmaster's signature, H.C. Huang's, and this is my Don Bon, 51591. It has my birthday. And then it says, this is to certify that the above practitioner has awarded, practitioner was awarded Edon in the 150th Don Classing Championship in Mutaquan. Um, so I try to be careful with them because they're like really nice. That's kind of the update, the advice I would give to you. Make sure you prepare beforehand, but just know when you come to a test, like you have done everything you can and now it's just time to enjoy yourself and to show what you've worked on. And also, like I said before, it's okay to have an off day. If it happens during your test, if it happens during a competition, it happens. And it's happened to every single athlete ever, turns out. So just give yourself a break. You know, I think that a lot of us martial artists, especially by the time we're getting to eat on and above, we're really, really hard on ourselves. And the reality is how many people in the world take this much time to dedicate to a hobby. Of course, to us, it's more than a hobby. But if you look at it, like I have a full-time job, but... I spend a lot of my free time doing this art because it means so much to me. And so just know that like you are of a select, a select group of people who decide to dedicate their lives to martial arts. And so I think sometimes we just need to be like, hey, you're doing a good job. So if you can't say it to yourself, I'm gonna say it to you. You're doing a good job. Anyways, I'd love for you to subscribe if you liked this content. Also, please comment below and tell me what else you would like to see or you'd like to know. And if you want to train with me, there's a link in the description for some live remote classes that me and my instructor do. Anyway, guys, have a good week. Let's kick it. Yeah.